Hey guys, and welcome to Vacaville iPhone King. Today, on the G2 from T-Mobile, we're going to be looking at the leaked from HTC test build of Gingerbread with Sense for the Desire Z, which is a direct twin to the G2. So, we're going to show you that and probably a couple apps that might be installed on there as well. Um, keep your eye out for the new jailbreak for your iDevice video as well as Launcher Showdown 2. So Vacaville iPhone King is now as you can see doing the green screen so I'm hoping you're liking this and I hope the videos are getting better and I hope you subscribe and hit that button because without you there's no me Vacaville iPhone King ready to look at this stuff let's do it okay so here it is this is the leaked HTC test gingerbread build for the Desire Z and that is Pretty much the exact same phone as the T-Mobile G2. So, first thing we're going to talk about is what works. Everything. What works good? Everything. Um, the only thing that I have found, maybe, is the, the mail widget for HTC may not work. But, let's go ahead and show you guys... All these HTC widgets. So all these are available. As well as HTC Hub, which is also working. So you can buy. Actually, it's not buy. It's free. Free, free. More widgets, more skins more themes more ringtones pretty much everything sound sets notification alarm sounds those are all available from the hub as you can see the dialer is HTC style So let's take a look at some of these widgets that are available. This is the news widget from HTC. It allows for the entry of a lot of feeds. I think I have eight on here right now and it just updates whenever I go to it. Scrolling. Uh, let's take a look at this one. Opens right up. Go all the way to the, this is a long one, you go to the down, read full article. As well as an arrow button to take you to the settings and your actual feed reader. Next up was available from the hub. This is Today in History. And it takes a while to load. But... It's pretty cool. Now, the Desire Z, I believe, is a European phone. Uh, therefore, um, I think that is what is causing this to be... I don't know. The information that it gives me on what happened today and the births and the deaths seem to be from Europe, I guess you could say. So... That's kind of weird. Here's a widget that was available on XDA developers, Demotivators. It looks just like the Quick Tips, but you can scroll through a bunch of demotivating sayings like customer care. If we really cared for the customer, we'd send them somewhere better. It's pretty funny. Um, here's Fortune Cookie, also was available from the Hub. Tap it. Brings up a fortune cookie and you pinch and you will see 
that it does show a fortune. Another cool available from the hub was the challenge of the day, which is a nice scrolling widget giving me something that I need to do every day, like say good morning to someone on my commute. Thought that was kind of funny. I usually give people the finger. Here is the HTC Music widget and the Translator widget, which I am finding really, really helpful to have direct from the home screen. Here is Friendstream, where you can add LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook. That's the three that I have. Now, as you can see, I have all this wood grain stuff going on. That is due to the skins available. One thing I'm finding is that the HTC Hub is not releasing a lot of new stuff. Um, hopefully that changes. But these were all that were available on the phone, on the ROM, and downloadable. I think I have them all. There's also scenes which change the whole screen. Now, this widget is not the clock widget, um, which is also wood grain themed. This is beautiful widgets with the new Sense 3D skin. But let's go ahead and show you what this looks like. We'll go to HTC Clock. And we'll scroll over and we find... We'll add the current location. And we'll be done. And there is the wood grain widget with sense animation now with the 800 megahertz processor that came on this phone I don't see a port a full port of sense 3.0 coming to this device however the HTC HD 2 may now one of the cons about this probably the only one I found is that you can add a widget here. You can add a widget by hitting the menu key and going to personalize. And you can also hit this button here. That's just too many ways to get to the same thing. But, hey, this would be a better button used for something else. So as you saw, that was a brief look at the new skins available for beautiful widgets. That nice 3D one. music app has a nice scroll to it I got nothing to teach them. this is a fully working ROM everything is working likes HTC likes HTC location now another thing is when you hit the app drawer you actually get a paged scroll as well as choices down below for frequent and downloaded apps which is kind of nice now if you go to the calendar you will find that when you go to a day such as today, it actually gives you the weather, <coughs> the weather right there on the screen, which I found to be very nice. I guess that's only for the current day. Now, here is HTC Hub. 
which is a very nice UI. I like the design of the UI on this, I, I must say. For instance, let's take a look at the skins. Like I said, we've already got them all. But this is a really nice interface. And you can see that there are apps and plugins, widgets, wallpapers, scenes, skins, sound sets, ringtones, alarm sounds, and notification sounds. All available. Another thing we have is tethering that works is available. The notification bar, as you can see, has a scrollable recent app bar as well as quick settings. The settings menu on Sense is going to contain quite a few extra items and you're probably going to like some of those. This ROM is very stable. I have almost no problems with data connection, speeds, freezes, Bluetooth works, battery, although I do have an extended battery. Check out my other video to find where to get it for like 20 bucks. Um, I have extreme battery life with this ROM. Sound quality is good. Cameras, here you go with a picture sample. Video is just as good. Um, all the effects work in the camera so you can change um, effects directly from there which is kind of cool. So that is the HTC leaked gingerbread ROM for the disease Desire Z and it is working for our G2s. So hit up the link down below, go pick it up, give it a shot. And if you want to know how to do that, if you don't already, check out my other video on how to perm root your G2. Then you can do it. Peace. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.